We're going to go straight to New Hampshire, where there's big news from Vivek Ramaswamy and President Trump. Let it happen. We cannot let it continue. We're going down, and we cannot let it continue. Last night, I was honored to receive the endorsement of a man who has become a true leader and earned the admiration of so many patriots. I, I've been a friend of his, even though we were competing against each other. But I was a friend of his, and we got along. And he was saying he's a great president. I kept saying, why is he running? He keeps calling me a great president. <laughs> but he's a fantastic guy, a very smart guy. He's got some tremendous ideas. And uh, he's young, and he's got some young ideas, too. And that's a good thing. So he has a big, beautiful, bright future ahead, Vivek Ramaswamy. Come on up, Vivek. Let's do this, guys. It's good to see you. It's good to be back to New Hampshire. We miss you guys. We're going to make this happen, and you guys know this well. You know this man. You know why we're here, patriots across the state. We are in the middle of a war in this country. That's what this is. It's not a war between black and white. It's not between Democrat and Republican, even in a deeper sense. It's between the permanent state and the everyday citizen. Between those of us who love the United States of America and a fringe minority who hates this country and what we stand for. And right now, we need a commander-in-chief who will lead us to victory in this war. That's what we need in this country. You got to know you're in a war to win one. You can't win one if you're asleep at the switch, have your head stuck in the sand like most Republicans. And I think that's going to require somebody who isn't bought and paid for, a businessman, not a politician. Anybody heard of that? And that's why I was in this race. But I'll tell you, the people of Iowa spoke loud and clear last night. And I'm a big believer that we, the people, create a government that is accountable to us, not the other way around. That we, the people, choose who leads this country. And so we heard we, the people, last night. And that is why last evening I met my friend here. We met in person. And I told him that I would endorse Donald J. Trump for president of the United States and do everything in my power to lead us to victory in this war. It is a 1776 moment right now. That's where we live right now. And you want to know, what does it mean to be a Republican today? It means we believe in the ideals of 1776. Ideals like freedom and merit and the pursuit of excellence. That you get ahead in this country, not on the color of your skin, but on the content of your character and your contributions. End affirmative action. End at DEI. We are done with the nonsense. Send it back home. It means you believe in the rule of law. And I say this as the kid of legal immigrants to this country. That means your first act of entering this country cannot break the law, and that is why we need to use our military to secure our own southern border in this country. That's what it means to stand for the rule of law in the United States of America. It means the people we elect to run the government needs to be the ones who actually run the government, not the shadow government in the deep state that runs the show today. This man is going to get in there this time around and actually shut down that deep state. Not messing around this time anymore. That's how we win this war in this country. And the way we're actually going to do this in the long run and win this this time around is with elections we need to secure in this country for the long run. You want to know what needs to happen in this country? Single-day voting on Election Day as a national holiday with paper ballots, government-issued ID to match the voter file, and English as the sole language that appears on a ballot. And I'm confident this man will be the one to get us there. And this is how we get our country back. Not black or white. It's deeper than that. These are the ideals of the American Revolution. And you know what? We do have some enemies that we need to defeat on the other side, but we have challenges to address in our own party right here at home. So you know what? If you want somebody who's going to 
foist onto you to use your social media account. You want to use a driver's license to do it, to have the inter- right to use the Internet? This man's not your man. There's another candidate in this race who will do that for you. It's Nikki Haley. You want to send, you want to cut Social Security, you want to cut Medicare, you want to cut veterans' benefits so we can fork over more money to Ukraine so some kleptocrat can buy a bigger house? Vote for Nikki Haley, not this man right here. But if you want to actually put an agenda that puts Americans first, to say that the moral obligation of your leaders is to the citizens of this country, not another one, there is not a better choice left in this race than this man right here. And that is why I am asking you to do the right thing as New Hampshire and to vote for Donald J. Trump as your next president, because we're not working with a lot of time here. If our kids are in high school before we get this right, we don't have a country left. That's what it means. We've been celebrating our diversity and our differences for so long that we forgot all of the ways that we are the same as Americans, bound by that common set of ideals that set this country into motion. We believe those ideals still exist. This man is going to be your next president to revive them. E pluribus unum, from many, one. And you know how we're doing it? We're doing it by speaking the truth at every step of the way. There are two genders in this country. Period. That is the truth. Fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear energy. Reverse racism is racism. An open border is not a border. Parents determine the education of their children. The nuclear family is the greatest form of governance known to mankind. Capitalism lifts us up from poverty. There are three branches of government in the United States, not four. And the U.S. Constitution is the strongest and greatest guarantor of freedom in human history. That is the truth. We fight for the truth. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.